and welcome to the Jim Baker Show. I'm your co-host, Cammy Sue Baker. Today's special guest, John Shorey. Now, please give a warm welcome to my parents and the hosts of the Jim Baker Show, Jim and Lori Baker. Thank you, Demi Sue. Welcome, everyone. So yeah. grateful that you came by our house today. John Shorey from the desert is back with us today. I, I've got a friend who was on board with me until all of this hype about September 23rd. Yeah. And he says, how can all these people be wrong and you be right? And I says, because the word of God word, tells word, me I'm right, and therefore That's, they're wrong. It's a word. It's just, so, so I'm telling him, I'm giving scripture after scripture, and he just keeps coming back, calling me up, and he says, listen to this, and listen, to, I've already listened to it, and they're wrong. And finally I said, look, I don't want to talk about it anymore until the 24th. On the 24th, <laughs> we'll talk about it at the throne or on the phone. <laughs> That's good. That's good, John. I'm going. I want you to teach this week some from this book. I don't know if you have this this one, right? I've got the original. And I just I just found it in some of my books. Mm -hmm. And as I'm reading this today, this is where we are right now. Dave Wilkerson pinned this. God warns us in advance, way in advance on things, and you don't, you don't understand. And people mocked Dave Wilkerson. Just like they've mocked Jim Baker and, and John. Lies over don't prepare like that TV evangelist. They, sometimes they don't call me Jim Baker. They just say that TV evangelist that offers food. <laughs> this from Dave Wilkerson. I, I've. I found it down in between some books in my own library. Mm. And here's a man who gave his life mm -hmm. to prophesy. He did. He started Teen Challenge and all those things. But mm. he became a major prophet in the last days. Yes. And church people, they didn't like him anymore because he was prophesying perilous times were coming. And the church had switched over to a happy gospel, a prosperity gospel, that uh, nothing bad was going to happen. And it's simply not true. It's simply not true. And I'm just going to, I'm going to read this, and maybe John could talk about it this week some more. The world is about to witness the beginning of great sorrows brought about by history's most dramatic weather changes. Mm. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Are we there? Earthquakes, floods, terrible calamities, far surpassing ever yet witnesses. Two major, 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 just back to back. I mean, they were just like train cars almost hooked behind, <laughs> yeah. back to back. And then right after the weather changes, his next point is. Earthquakes coming to the United States. The most tragic earthquakes in history. Who was it that said we, we were going to spend time, events were coming, that we would just, I think it was Dave Wilkerson, wasn't it, who said the whole nation would be watching one event. Mm. Are we almost there? Yes. Wasn't the whole nation watching these earthquakes oh. and, and these floods? And, yeah, I mean, our, and these, I know us. We had our TVs on all over the place. Houston, we place everybody place. was watching. That everybody. stirred us so yeah. much that we, went we started there. packing our food and taking it down there to feed right. the people. Yeah. Hmm. The earthquake will cause widespread panic and fear. It, says one of the most com it will be one of the most completely reported earthquakes ever. Mm. Television. I just, I didn't even know it was there. Television networks so you're reading, will suspend. You're reading, out of, you're reading out Dave, Dave Wilkerson's, Wilkerson's book. Probably. Television networks will suspend all programming and carry all day coverage of this earthquake. Another earthquake, possibly in Japan, may precede the one that I see coming here. That's the one God showed me. The big one. Precede. It's already happened. You know. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> that one. 
God spoke to me about. It will be so high on the Richter scale that it will trigger two, two other, other major megaquakes. You, you memorize yeah. that? <laughs> Earthquakes will become the number one cause of fear and consternation. Wow. The earthquake is actually going to shake, and there will be numerous other earthquakes in various places throughout the world. So they're going to affect other places. And, and then he goes, the famine is coming to the world and our generation. Catastrophic years lie just ahead with droughts, floods, and other weather disasters, mm -hmm. wiping out great amounts of the world's food production. And he goes on and he said this, the beginning of sorrows. And this is what I believe is going on now. Jim, and nature will go wild. We started talking about these four judgments coming to America. Yes. This was literally delivered to this man during the week of the hurricanes. Mm. So this is like current that's backing up what he was saying. You mind if I go ahead and I finish reading this? Absolutely. I want you to read that. Okay. He says he was told that after the first judgment, his body would wake a little, but go back to sleep. The first judgment the is the body the of Christ. After the second judgment, his body would wake up a little more, but not be fully awake after the second judgment of earthquakes. After the third judgment, his body would rise up, but still not see that the hand of God was bringing these judgments. People would explain it away, saying it was climate change and that the earthquake faults had been locked and loaded for years. The tidal wave, which is the third judgment, is what gets the church's attention. I saw in a vision a massive wave, half the height of the Empire State Building mm. in New York. And I also saw all the deaths of thousands of people as there was no warning, the wave was coming. The fourth judgment, tsunami. yes, it would be an East Coast tsunami. But listen to this. And you know where that one comes from. That's what I've been preaching on for decades. It, it could be the Canary Islands. It could be, John. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a know, meteor. And the Canary Island is already split. Mm -hmm. And this is a scientific one. Yes. They said if that one goes, the whole East Coast. The, the whole East Coast on all, all the land, yep. England, United States, Florida, everything, that those will have the tsunamis that will be several stories high. Mm. But listen to this. The fourth judgment is the worst. Many will perish in this judgment that will finally drive the church to its knees, crying out for repentance. I asked the Lord, what is going... What is going to do this? And he wouldn't tell him what the fourth judgment was. He says, ever since the eclipse, I've had an overwhelming, very heavy sense to pray for repentance for this nation. The main thing I think gets me uh, is the Lord said, before the mess from one judgment is even cleaned up, the next will strike. says, I asked him about the hurricanes. He said, they will continue, but be ready for the shaking, for I am about to wake up my sleeping body. Mm. Yesterday in my prayer time, the Lord told me that the West Coast is going to get hit with a 9.1 earthquake. I thought, Lord, that will cause a lot of damage and deaths. And then the Lord said, after that, it'll be even a bigger earthquake. And that's what the scientists just reported yesterday. Yes. Well, remember when I had that dream a few years ago about the Northwest? Yes. And six months later, the scientists came out explaining a, sub a subduction zone earthquake mm -hmm. similar to Alaska was getting poised to go off under the Northwest. Mm -hmm. And in my dream, it was like I knew it was the same magnitude quake in the same similar type quake as what hit Alaska and the scientists confirmed it six months later. Mm. 
I'll tell you, I believe too many preppers are counting on being able to grow their own food. Yes. You literally are going to have to be prepared for having seasons where nothing will come to maturity. Oh. Do you know that in Arizona, we've seen the hottest weather in southern Arizona yeah. in 11 years. We've had the greatest challenges to grow our own garden. And throw on top of that, we've had the biggest plague of grasshoppers oh. that mm. are eating everything. Even my wife has these berry bushes, and after they ate all the leaves, they're eating the bark. She was unglued. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I, I've got to try to get across to my wife that we got to be prepared for this kind of stuff. Yeah. And we have to have food to carry us through seasons where our crops are destroyed. I hate to say that, pop your little bubble, but you need to have your garden in the buckets instead of all outside in the dirt. Wow. That's wow. good, John. You know, listen, Jim, I just read this in the news today. <laughs> The floods in Texas are going to be causing clouds of mosquitoes oh. that are carrying the mosquito-borne diseases yeah. to where you, you won't just have to worry about a little backyard pool having mosquitoes hatching in it. Right. You're literally going to have thousands and thousands of, of, of never-before lakes breeding mosquitoes and in the coming what, what weeks... What was in the headlines today? Yeah, we were just... Philadelphia or somewhere had... Uh, yeah, massive clouds of, of insects, and people were fleeing. Th they you know, didn't know what to do. It was well, like... What you're reading there is, it, it's like I've been reading the news over like the last couple of days. They've even said that this hurricane is a, of biblical proportions. When you, look at it, when you look at it from space, how much bigger it is from Hurricane Andrew in 1992, it's massive. It's over 70,000 square miles. It took up almost the entire state of Florida. And it's, the flooding is ridiculous. Yeah. From, from the end of Florida, immediately when it hit, over a million people lost power yeah. in southern Florida. Right. Mm. The proportion, and we've never in history had two Category 4 hurricanes hit in one year. I knew Dave Wilkerson. Dave Wilkerson... I knew when he was a young guy in the ghetto, reaching out and yeah. team Started challenge team and all. Challenge. Yeah. Thank the Lord. And that. he became a very, very serious prophetic voice. Yes, Jim he prophesied let to me, me a lot. Let me add a, a, a current touch to this: uh, a prophetic voice. I've been following this man for several months. A very credible man. He's a pastor, uh, and uh, not a flake by any means. He's the one that God told him there would be two great hurricanes followed by, it was either two or three mega earthquakes. And, and many others are seeing the same thing. Well, on one of his current visions the Lord gave him, he was told that people are going to realize that our president is not going to get the cooperation to be able to negotiate through all these disasters and everything else that this country needs. And it's going to cause the markets to lose confidence that we're heading for happy days. And it's going to cause a great economic collapse that will be coming into next year, is how he was told it. And he said... They will have to devalue the dollar by 50%. Mm. Now, if you think about all of these disasters, one upon the other, and if they just keep printing off money, be able to help here, help here, and help there, at some point you have to pay the piper, and all of a sudden you will have such rapid inflation over printing that money that to devalue the dollar by 50%, Mark Argeson and everybody that produces food will be paying twice as much to produce what we can buy now for the price we can buy it at. That's the scary thing because instantly, they won't, John, they won't be able to yes, grow enough to that's do, true to produce but all even the if, survival food. Even if they can, the prices of everything will go double overnight. Judgments coming because of. I'll tell you what. I wish. Oh, I'm, I, I, this book is, is amazing. This book is absolutely uh, crazy 
amazing. And we're not offering this book, so no, you'll you have can't to find buy it. On it. Your own. Nobody I mean, will print it again. I want to print yeah. it myself. Yeah. I'm still going to work on this. John, Sh or, where's Jerry. Jerry Jones can work on it. <laughs> work on it again. <laughs> but no, I, I've just got to do it. I'm sorry, John. Persecution. This was written in 1971. centered radio and TV programs will become the target of satanic forces determined to force them off the airwaves. Yes. So true. 50 years ago he wrote that. Um, so believe. pray for Read everyone. The, on the doors are now wide open, are slowly but surely going to close. God spoke to me if we didn't change directions in America with a president, this year would begin the close down of Christian television and radio and freedom of religion yeah, in the United said, States. Yeah, the other way, we may not be broadcasting to you right now, this very moment. Listen to what he said. Christian radio, no wonder they kicked him out. Christian radio and TV stations should begin to expect persecution and harassment. Atheistic and antichrist forces are even now preparing litigation. My goodness. Satan will use every tactic at his disposal to remove all Christ-centered programs from the media. They watch us 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have more faithful watchers from our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you think church people want to hear what I have to say? <laughs> I'll tell you, the Antichrist people do. <laughs> you know, Jim, They want to bring me down. On the alternate media, like Facebook and YouTube, mm -hmm. Christian accounts are already being shut down. That is happening right now. Oh, and oh I, John. Listen to this. I, I won't mention the company's name. No, don't. But, uh, but the company that I use for sending out my newsletter, yes. this last newsletter was under satanic attack. Yeah. I had one batch of emails blocked as spam, and these are people requesting newsletters. I had, I had other b batches where the attachment was stripped off. Because you're, you're exposing what's going on in the... World. When when I sent my newsletter down here and my questions for this meeting, uh -huh. uh, the night before I left, I sent the emails with the attachments. The attachments were stripped off. Mm -hmm. I had to rewrite the questions last night <laughs> because because this message and the Christian message across the alternate media is currently under attack. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. It's like they're breaking the rules. They don't care about the Constitution any longer. Mm -hmm. And that's why this book, I picked it up, you know, one of those by accident things a few days ago. And I've read it. You know what I want to do, Lori? If nobody wants to come with me. I, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to come into this room. If I have to come all by myself, and I'm going to read this whole book. So you're going to have a gym reading hour? Yes, and preach. I'm going to preach Dave Wilkerson. <laughs> the vision and beyond. I mean, if a prophet's prophecy comes true, all of it, then he's yeah. a prophet. Have fun trying to find this book because you'll probably pay thousands of dollars no, on no, the do, internet oh, please. for it. it probably, some of his books have available. been selling for thousands of dollars or more. It's called The Vision. I don't know the highest. What was the highest price, John, that, that uh, oh, Dave that Wilkerson's book? $2,000, yeah. maybe that even one, right. a little higher. $2,000, some of his books, the people trumpet, wanted it so much. Mm -hmm. So, persecution of churches, but even the tap, tax exemption thing, he's talking about that. Wow. And a hate Christ movement? <laughs> it's here. It's happening. It's here beyond anything. I don't know what to do because I've tried to give you the word. I try to give you what I feel the true prophets are saying. And the biggest thing that God has given me to do, at least get one of the buckets for yourself and, and have it in your house. Unless a miracle takes place, it, I don't see that we'll be able to deliver food in a few weeks for at least six months. And, and if it doesn't, if, if this stuff keeps going on, 
if Dave Wilkerson is a true prophet of God, if, if John Shorey is a true prophet of God, and all these men around me that I, I hear, and if the Bible is prophetic, mm -hmm. we have begun the time of trouble. Yeah. And we're now, and we've been in it, I believe, quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I want you to have a variety so of food. So he wants you to be ready and this not be a victim. And then at the same time, you'll be, um, we'll be sending down the stain but, alive. But because bucket. you're buying one, right? you're actually paying for this one that goes free to a people that are starving. Yes, right. That's all. It goes out. I'm, get, I'm trying to get up another drink. And I need a truck. Yes. yes. Is there anybody out there that owns a big, what it, a semi, semi truck? Yes. A nice big one that runs, not right. one that don't run. I, <laughs> not a broken down one. I want to. I want to stay on the road. I don't want it to break down. If somebody's got a truck. Yes. You know, if you want to buy one, what does a truck cost these days? Any truckers in the crowd? Well, it just depends. But if to what donate was, to the ministry. What was it? A, a nice big. How much? Oh. Lori said it's over. I mean, Sue said it's over a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But if there's somebody could afford one, you want to buy us a brand new one, that's fine. Or maybe, or yeah. maybe you're retiring and but, you're ready to. But I think there's some some trucker companies that maybe you you have more trucks than you're using. That's all. I, I really like you just to give your abundance away. Well, you know there are independent so, truckers that own their own trucks. Yes. Yeah. And maybe there's a Christian trucker out there who will donate his time and the use of his truck to make one of the well, runs. Then, that man who drove the church yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, down to Houston. Houston. Yeah. He 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 didn't charge us what it would have been normally, no, did he? He gave us a great deal. Yeah, so that's so we got a good deal and, and we paid him, but you know, and there may be some truckers that maybe they would will take let me payment pay just a little for their bit. fuel. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Cover their fuel bit. and they right. would donate their time to help cuz everybody's got to make a living. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's just it's it's so expensive to ship. The shipping cost almost as much as the food sometimes mm -hmm. you know but if everybody will order your food if you want to get seven years of food which is the bonus right now of this amazing bunch you right. get seven years of food the so you're buying these two right and we won't send you staying alive we're going to send that down to take care of the poor people right. mm -hmm. that can't afford food right now or food can't get even delivered to them and so what did you want to, you said, you were saying something right there. What? Well, I wanted to tell you, because you, you were reading out of uh, David Wilkerson's book, which I haven't read, but what you have gone over is literally what is in the news right now. And I just read this morning, could Irma and Harvey break the bank? They said at $556 billion, we have had to raise the debt ceiling. They said, due to enormous increase in major disaster, help is spread thin. If one more disaster happens, that could burst the bubble. Tell me to answer you. Go ahead. Yes. Mm. It will break the bank. Mm. All of these are going And, I mean, there's one out there in the uh, uh, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Hurricane right now. Say, so, Pastor oh, Jim, they're expecting more hurricanes. They said this year we're, they're expecting to see an abnormal amount of hurricanes come in. And right now, that hurricane season ends November 30th. So there's still a lot of time to see a whole lot more. This is exactly what Dave Wilkerson prophesied. This is what the Bible says will take place. And order your food. Yes. One of the things we have is these... The cheaper bucket, which we put together, staying alive deal. Mm -hmm. That October first is over, ever, ever, never, ever. You'll never get food like that again. Food's not even gonna. I, I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I just. I'm concerned that there's coming a time, as the Matthew 24 says, where there'll be no food to eat, and that's we're we're gonna. We've been in prosperity time. I don't know. I think the Joseph season's about over. I think the oh, the Joseph wow. preparation time, we've had we've had, uh, Lori and I've been doing this for 
right after right after Katrina. So I mean, at least an, a good ten years. I know we've been oh longer than that. It's getting people to prepare. I, you know, you know, Jim. Right. I have been saying on several of my visits here that we as preppers are not building a big enough boat. Right. Mm. You have and. And that indictment from Matthew 25, mm -hmm. where he, Jesus turned to the ones on his left, and he says, you did not feed me when I was hungry. You did not give me water when I was thirsty. This is a command. This is a command that we help the needy. So if all you've been doing is getting food for you and your family and haven't been thinking of the least of them, our brethren, you haven't been thinking about the stranger that's out there in need, then you haven't fully prepared. Now, you could go and say, well, I'm sorry, but I don't have enough food to take care of everybody. Well, think about the widow woman. She only had enough food left for one last meal for her and her child. And what did she choose to do? She gave all that she had to feed, bring in the extra profit right. and feed that person that didn't have food. And you know what happened to her? She received a, an award that will go into eternity. Yeah. Because when we are walking the streets of gold, we will have this lady pointed out in heaven and says, <laughs> yeah. see that lady over there? Yeah. She shared her last meal with the prophet. That's right. And you know what else happened? She didn't run out of food and starve. No. Her containers of food replenished themselves. They did. And I have been telling you in my studio, I mean my seminars, that when you empty a bucket of food, trust God to refill it. Mm -hmm. Go and put it away and trust God. Feed the people that are hungry. Don't be concerned about running out of food. But do your part. If you have the means to buy a hundred buckets of food then buy a hundred buckets of food. You can, you can give food to churches that are unprepared. What are you going to do? Say to the people in the churches around you, say, I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. You guys can all starve to death. No, if you have the heart of Christ, you will even give the churches some of what you have purchased. That's right. And I'll tell you. John, I if, they're, if they're millionaires. Yes, if they, you have means. They need to write a check for a, they can get it we'll get it as cheap as you can, we can get it for your church do a million dollars worth of food i'm serious we've had churches call and order a million dollars so we're not scared of that but it it's going to take a while to get that much food made up if you can have hey, it if but, you if you have the financial no, means but if they're rich listen the money's going anyway john exactly it's there it's not going to be worth it the crash is the coming. word the word says but why that, not sow it into the lord and do it here you're not doing it for us do it for your church the, the word says and can that. you imagine a church yeah. having a million dollars worth of food uh, pastor it's in 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 the time of trouble it's just 35 cents a serving too so that makes a lot of servings and feeds a lot of mouths and i just did get off the i got off the the phone with uh augustin farms they're now working 12-hour shifts six days a week so as you say get it now you're you're right on track you got to get it now i i'm i'm so serious well you know it's we're there we're there for these times are coming the bible says that our our riches will be a witness against us. When the time comes that you've left money in the bank that could have been used to help people, to help feed people, and all you did is you just kept all your riches for yourself, it will be a witness against you. You will stand before God, and he will say, why didn't you do more to help the needy? Let me tell you something. If you have... No, you don't have to have a million dollars. What if you get an extra 10, 20, 30,000? Right. You want to give a portion of that to help feed people in your churches. Call up your pastor and say, I want to order that $1,000 package of food and have it shipped to your church. Will you receive it and put it away for hard times? I don't think he's going to say, no, we don't want that food. You, oh, you mean you're going to just give it to us? We'll take it. And if that yeah. church doesn't take it. The size of their congregation would store food. Even if they, if they could buy a farm and put it in barns or whatever, you know. But they would be able to do Can you imagine what, what is Dave saying? He's warning us that the charity money is going, could be gone. It's, he calls it the decade of disasters is coming. Wow. And, uh, wow. oh, by the way, 
I, I wasn't going to say this, but he says after these things, and it may not be this year because I don't know what year it is, but he said there's a winter coming like we've never had before. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope it's not. And I hope it's not this winter. <laughs> but Starting because to feel like it. Forgive me. It but it's. Really. Where did summer go, John? I, I was going to ask the same thing. In San Francisco, it's 115. Here, it's it's 50. That's 60. Crazy. This was 52 it's, last night. Yeah, and it's, yeah, that's abnormal in the 50s. For this time of year. Well, yeah, this summer yet. Isn't it summer? We yeah, still have 95 in Arizona. He said, yeah, here's the thing he says, okay? Southern. You don't want to hear it. You, hear, you yes, can't go. take no more. Go. It's going to be the biggest ice storm. Stones, uh, ice storm, ice storm with hail. hail. He said, "You won't even believe the size of what hail is going to be that God showed him." Well, big, you know, well, you know, during the Revelation times, into the wrath of God. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you go and translate the size of those hailstones, they're like a hundred pounds a piece. Wow. I mean, one of those hailstones. Oh, that's hits right. There's the a name for that, isn't yes, it? Yes. <laughs> they, when it hits your roof, it'll come down through your roof, through your ceiling. It'll hit your kitchen table. It'll go through down into the basement. It'll be like hitting, getting hit with a bomb. We're going to be entering into days of sorrows and, uh, and tribulation years that it's going to be hell on earth. The church will need to go underground. We're, gonna, we're not going to be able to take the mark. We're not going to be able to, to buy. We need to do it in advance. Let me tell you, I, I have sold assets, personal property, anything I could get rid of so that I could use it to help prepare. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a challenge I'd like to make to the people that are watching this, because I did it, I almost regretted doing it, but I prayed to God and said, God, how many people should I be preparing for? And God gave me a number that was too big for me, but God is making up the difference of what I can do and what he can do. And let me tell you, you need to be brave enough to ask God, God, how big a group, if you have the means, and even if you don't, You need to ask God, God, how many do I need to prepare for? And if the number seems too big, then you have to ask God and say, God, please provide, and I will use these funds to prepare for the times ahead. Amen. 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 And you know, when you you support our ministry, we're going to be preaching the gospel till we can't broadcast anymore. Mm Mm-hmm. These water bottles, yes. you're going to need water. You, you can only live if you're stuck somewhere. You're in your house in the earthquakes. You're there and you can't move. And they said, they, here's what they said in the paper from L.A. They said, you won't be able to get help in with this major earthquake that they, the scientists see coming. You won't be able, the trucks won't get in. The aqueducts it, will be cut off. You they won't have water. But... In, in the crevices of these earthquakes, there will be holes of water as far as, you know, if it's raining and, and all, and there's water. And you go down in a ditch. With this, these water bottles, I've got six of them here across here. And for $125, we're giving you the six of them. You, you ought to order backup filters for them, too. They're online. You just go yeah. online. You can order the filters for these. The thing about these is if, you, if you're new to the broadcast, we have a lot of new viewers. If you've never heard about these, these are a filtration, literally like a filtration plant in a bottle. And it is called the Extreme Filter. It removes the following. E. coli, bacteria, and cysts, chlorine, sand and sentiments, pesticides, harmful metals, aluminum, arsenic, asbestos, Chromium-6, fluorides, copper, lead, mercury, radiation. I mean, and this ra- is an incredible bottle. The, the radiation part of this filter was just added, what, a year or two ago? Yeah. I mean, I just dreamed okay. this idea, and I told the owner of, of, of this amazing Seychelles mm-hmm. product, and he was able to, to he has, when he invents it, you have to go through all the, the, the testing of it. 
So it was even tested in Japan. Yes. Three times. And, Three times. And in, yeah. the, in the United States, of course, and all over the world, times, wherever so, they yes. sell them, they have to be retested yes. in those countries. These passed all the tested. Everybody it takes off should have one. 99.999 of Correct. all. You can live three or four days without water, and yet nobody cares. Mm. Nobody, nobody's thought about it. They don't think about it. They don't even think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And these, the, this is the new, uh, it's, a, it's a little different bottle. It's, it's the same type of filter. It takes out all the stuff, but the filter's in the top. Yeah, those are real good because the, the pores on the sides of the filter allow a little easier movement and, and flow through the bottle. This so is a nice size, possible. and it, it's just easy, easy, it's just easy peasy. And that's the 24 you have ounces. It is a little what? bit smaller. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, we've shaken up uh, uh, pesticides and, and soil, mm-hmm. potting soil. Mix it up in the water. I mean, we have we have many instances, and you oh, squeeze yeah. it right out. Mondo, we we went out to the pond. Mondo filtered water right mm-hmm. out of the pond, right mm-hmm. out front, and we all drank it down. I we mean, it, it really, it. as you said, Lori, hundreds of tests that validate what what we're saying mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. So, and nobody else does that. Nobody else can validate with the extent that we get from Seychelles. So, how's the water taste? It's good, and I like it. I want you to get some for your home right now. This time, right now, Everybody for this minute, yes. I want you to get 12 bottles. You're going to get 12 of the one we carry everywhere. Even to the flood, we took it with us. You we could have drank it. water out of the streets carry it in with your that car bottle. Everywhere. I mean, just carry but it. But then One you get the big gulps. You get six of the big gulps, I call them, where you can gulp, 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 <laughs> you know. And, uh, but you can't. But yeah. these are for floods, for, you know, hurricanes, tornadoes, it's, whatever, they're earthquakes. They're so much more than they're that. They're crisis bottle. Yes. But we saved, Lori and I have saved thousands of dollars with, we drink, this is what we carry all the time. Yeah. Are- this is a brand new thing that we just started offering last week, yes, I think. Sir. You need to get your pumps. $55 for a pump. Yeah, but what, what did Mr. Seychelles, the founder of this oh, company, he calls what did that he the say greatest, about his His pump? greatest invention ever because he, it removes everything you've already talked about, plus it enhances the pH up to 9.5. Now, Ricky, I'm going to Can ask, you imagine a pump that enhances your pH? Hey, Ricky, help us to understand, first of all, the two different sizes. Well, the only, the only difference between the two is, is purely the size. The one is just more compact, so you can put it in a glove compartment, you can carry it in a backpack. That's the only difference between the two pumps. Okay. Um, but these are great if you're going to be cooking food because you don't want to be squeezing water through a bottle over and over and over to get to a gallon of water. This makes it so much easier. You can either, you know, let's say you have a local lake or you have a stream of water, you can get it in a, a gallon or such. You just mm-hmm. put one end of the pump inside of there and then you, uh, you just pump on the other end and it, it has a tube that goes right into wherever you want to source the water. Right. They come in a package. They come in your own zipper package and so you can carry it's them. It's a carrying in. case, yes. And uh, that's the, what do you call that? The compact? Yeah, that is a compact Supreme Survival Pump, and then the other one is just the Supreme Supreme Survival Pump. And the thing is, um, like Ricky said, you're able that therefore to just get a lot of water out. Mm-hmm. Or if you're, you're trying pump. to get a lot of water for a lot of people at one time, you know, you oh, all yeah. don't want to drink yeah. out of the yeah, you all don't, don't want to drink out of the same bottle. I know. These uh, have orange. double filters, dual two filter, filter, yes, so dual it's purif- ultra dual ultra filtration. Absolutely. And it all comes in a little case. Yes. The other case is a smaller case that can go compact. If you have a small, small backpack, this one will fit better yes. in the backpack probably. Blood box, so, car under the seat. So this is the supreme survival pump that actually increases pH and takes out 99.999, everything. In, all the bacteria. Including all the, radiation yes. filter in there. Yes. And this, yes. one, this is the ultimate... This is the ultimate invention from Mr. Seychelles that he invented. That's right. Exactly. And he believes this is right. his greatest accomplishment That's right. is this pump. This will keep people alive mm-hmm. for, for years and years I'll and years. You, you know, and that's why you ought to get extra filters and all for all of this stuff. Oh, yeah. This will keep you alive. You can't live but three to four days without water. This will filter your water. And then Ricky has the compact one which 
uh, people like to put in their backpacks, but you can use this and slip it down inside your backpack. This is, sure. this, it all fits in that one little pack right there. So it's an amazing, amazing product. Mm -hmm. It will keep you alive. A great place to use these tubes in your, your, if you have a pool, just go to your swimming pool yeah. and just start getting tons of water out of there. To, to the people who have a lot of food, of our survival food, mm -hmm. Get some of these filters. Right. They're so inexpensive. You know what I think we should it's do? It's what, I, $55 a pump. That yeah. is so cheap. And just put it in the basement mm -hmm. with your buckets mm -hmm. because that way you can always have water even if you run out of water. The last few weeks, there's been storms. It seems like every day something's happening somewhere. And uh, I found out that people had our generator. Yes. And they were the happiest people in America, I think, right. during the floods and during the hurricanes and all. And one of our dear friends called our offices here mm -hmm. and said, I want a generator right now. Mm -hmm. Ricky, it was right in the middle of the storm. Absolutely, and he it, lives in a, in a high-rise that had absolutely no power to it, so he needed a generator. You're talking about in Florida? In Florida, yes, in And Hurricane I didn't want Irma. to say, why didn't he order one beforehand? <laughs> but he wanted one. And so Jerry Jones got on the phone and called the factory. Mm -hmm, I'm yes. not kidding. In the middle of the hurricane. Wow. Power out in almost all of Florida. And so he says... Uh, to the to the factory, and the, he called the owner. Of course, that's, we deal with the owners. And he said, our friend is stranded in his high-rise. He needs a generator. It's black, dark. He can't see a thing. He said, all he wants is some light. And I think he wanted to watch TV, too, at the same time. Probably charge his cell phone, too, at the same and time. And charge his cell phone. Yes. And so it just happened. This, this don't even sound real. But it, it, you haven't heard this story, have no, you? No, I'm waiting. You know who it is. It's, it's a dear friend, really. And so he, 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 uh, he, he called in, and then we called the factory. And the factory says, oh, we have, we have one of our reps about just a, maybe a few miles from your apartment. Oh, my goodness. And he happens to have the last one out on the road. We have, he has one generator left. In his truck. and That's amazing. And so they, they called back our friend and said, do you want it? He said, I'll, whatever the price, I guess. He just said, I'll pay for it. I'll, and and uh, so they drove, and I don't know how they got to his, uh, his apartment, mm -hmm. but he, they got through the flood, got through all this stuff, and delivered our generator to him. That is awesome. I love that. And so he said... He was so happy mm -hmm. because he had lights. He could charge his cell phone. He could have a lamp. He could on. watch television. You can put you can put it in um, your refrigerator and not yeah. have all your food spoil. And you know, at our house, we have probably five or six generators because we have them all over the house. We we test them all, so we get to have, we get to have samples. Yeah, we have all them. the different generations. So we test of them, them all mm -hmm. to see that that it's going to work. And I don't use anything or even offer anything. If I don't test it out first, I test it all out. Sure. So in this box, can you look at this box right here? Yes. What is this, Lori? It's my own personal. <laughs> um, I said, please make sure it gets back to my house tonight. Um, it's my own personal trunk that yeah. I use as a... Here, tip, Ricky, put the flowers over there. I use as the, a um, little... Coffee table. Coffee table, yeah. It's, we have a couple of sofas in mm -hmm. our living room. Mm -hmm. And so this is one of them. Mm -hmm. Open this up, Ricky, on that side here. This is what, this is our trunk. This is where we keep a generator all the time. Absolutely. Yes. And so a few, almost a year ago now, probably or more, one day the, something knocked out our transformers. So nobody in the block this time was out but us. Right. And so I'm sitting there waiting for them to fix it. Think, oh, I want to see what's going on. What's the weather? What's going on? And... All of a sudden, I said, what? This, our generator is in this trunk. Right. And so I come over here and open this thing up. You can see down in there. As you're looking down there, you see. So this is our fuelless generator. Yes. 
And uh, also in here is the second layer of battery power. Yeah. And so this, plug it in there a minute, Ricky. Actually, here's, here's the yeah. cord to the television. Here's the cord right here. to the television right there. Just plug that into to there. So we'll plug that in. Now, look over here while the television is warming up. This it's turning on. is in here. I mean, you just leave them in here. Yeah, you just leave them right plugged in. Leave them Do right in there. Do I get too excited over there? No, you don't. No, but I, I, I mean, pitch dark. The power's gone out. Turn These come heat. with it. Right. And they are, there's 15 feet, three 15-foot right. mm -hmm. long cords. They're plastic. That you so plug in which there. Which is good because yeah, it's hard to break. Yes, mm -hmm. But this comes with it. This is a valuable. What what's the value of this one? Seven thousand or something? No, actually, the value of this entire complete kit what it is was seven thousand four hundred and sixty-one dollars. But okay. we're offering it for forty-one hundred, which means you're saving three thousand three hundred and sixty-one dollars. Okay. okay. Now it's a what we call the complete fuelless generator offer. Mm -hmm. This is everything. Now that this is the deluxe deluxe and was mm -hmm. discounted. Just for this, in fact, it should go back up because everybody's wanting them now. Now, these lights alone that you're holding, you'd be paying retail $80 for. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that comes with every complete fuelless generator offer. Right. You, get this, you get this set of lights. Yeah. One of them would last months. Mm -hmm. Actually, on a full, without charging on a full battery, more. you could run all of them for uh, almost four months without yeah. recharging your yeah. generator. So the lights come with it. Mm -hmm. And also. And then the crank. You if, have a hand crank. We'll, we'll say it the there's no there, sun. Yeah, no sun. sun. Yeah. And, and if you look out in our yard, you will see panels out there. Mm -hmm. Or let's say we you, have two panels sitting out there right now. Or let's say you live in a high rise and you only get sun for half of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, either just the morning or just the night. You could crank this up in just a few moments. Mm -hmm. Have plenty of power mm -hmm. to charge your phone. To charge your telephone. Right. right. And we have to have our phones, right, Ray? Yes. Yeah. They're like a life support for us nowadays. Yes. Okay. So this comes. With the two big battery systems, mm -hmm. yes. With the connector cable that connects them all, mm -hmm. yes. And then it also, if if it, if it's cold, and you know, the thing I noticed, even though it it was fairly warm in parts of the where the floods and all were, mm -hmm. people were in that water sure. freezing. They could wrap up this plugs into this unit, yes, right. Into and the you will have heat, yes. And if it's forty below zero. You, you can be, put this in your warm. bed and blankets and covers over you and save your life. Absolutely. Right. And so this unit, but you have power, mm -hmm. but look what the TV's running. That TV's running from this generator yes. right now. Can you see that? Right in, right. That's a big screen, and it will run your direct TV. Yes. It will run your dish network. Yes. It will run your cable, your cable system, company. Mm -hmm. Whatever TV yep. you have, or if you have DVD players with your TV, you can watch DVD. And I've tested out at our house, Lori. Yes. yes. I've watched. I we, have a, we have a Sony at our house, a big screen Sony yes. in the living room. I plugged that in. I plugged a lamp in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I plugged direct TV in. Mm -hmm. You did. And eight hours later, I was still watching TV mm -hmm. in you had the your, midst You had your phone charging? You had your phone charging? You were calling everyone, telling them, hey, I'm watching TV. Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And so there's other little bonuses that go with this. Right. Mm -hmm. But this, sit, let's sit down a minute. So here, we can put this back down now, mm -hmm. like that. And uh, just like there. that. Yes. This is no fuel that means you can have this in your home no propane mm -hmm. none of that and and it's safe one of the most important things is you have electricity for lights mm -hmm. this will run to three rooms of your house with each light mm -hmm. so you have this you have the heating blanket which is 12 volt mm -hmm. you have the television running now mm -hmm. yes we also endless in the, you're, all your neighbors will love you if you charge up their phones. Oh, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. And then also one other great thing about this is you, we have a microwave that goes out with this offer. It comes with it. As a bonus. All now, of this stuff. The other thing that you're going to receive is a 25-foot extension cord to the solar panel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the solar panels. And a bonus and, solar panel. Yes. Did yes, you know that? Yes. I Two solar panels. <laughs> so this means it charges up twice as fast 
as last year's model. Mm -hmm. When we were in Houston, again, we keep referring to Houston because that's our experience. We went down there to deliver food that you helped us. And the thing that I kept thinking was, especially some of the single women that I met and they had nothing left in their homes, if they could have just had this generator oh. with some yeah. packages of food, with that microwave and that carrying case. People there. are staying with neighbors, they're staying with friends, they're staying wherever, and they don't want to be a burden on them, or mm -hmm. if they're staying in their home as it Look gets repaired, you know, you can take it from room to room. And quite honestly, you can yeah. put your generator on there and then also put a couple other things on top of your generator, make them a little easier to carry around. Here's the thing too, Lori. The lithium ion oh, yes. batteries. They're the expensive ones. That's one of the reasons it costs more. But it doesn't explode. It doesn't do crazy things. Right. It lasts and lasts. Ricky, we have at least five at our house, don't yes. we? Yes, yeah, we've tested every single model and we've sent out. And this year, I sent Jerry Jones, because he's my assistant, and he he's in charge of this company and this, this product. product. And so I said, Jerry, would you check to make sure they're working right? Mm -hmm. He went through the whole <laughs> <laughs> he checked them all, and he said, Jim, they don't even need charging. No. He said, no. they're, they're up f almost to the top, right? I see Jerry over there. Hello, Jerry. And, and they were way up. And honestly, some of those we've had in there two, three years. Oh, yeah. They're all there. They're there when you need them. You don't yes. put them in the basement or right. somewhere. This, right. this is a quality Have it piece. out, yes. But the biggest thing is the fact that it's fuelless. We yes. all put on the screen. It is big, but fuel how to make it fuelless that's generator? Because that's what the thing. That is. What did you do, Rick? Uh, you guys are over there talking. I got hungry, so I made some popcorn. Oh in the my microwave. goodness! You were making. I was, I was making that pop popcorn. Oh, that actually it looks good too. I just. It's, it's hot. hot. It's I hot. just pulled it's it out hot. of the microwave. It's fire. Can I chew some? You I'm can. If you want. It was my popcorn. Yeah. While you guys are eating, I just want to go over mm -hmm. one more time what comes with the complete, yeah. complete fuelless okay. generator offer. You yes. get the actual generator, which is an amazing, amazing kit just by itself. You okay. get the lithium ion expansion battery pack. You get the hand crank. You get the new and improved carrying cart, a 25 foot extension cord for the solar panels. You get an EMP bag, the third generation, a three light kit, which we've been demonstrating, the microwave, the 12 volt electric blanket. I mean, this is just such an amazing deal. You get two solar panels also with this because it plugs right into the generator. This is if you have no electricity, the, the sun will charge this up. And if you have no sun, the hand crank will do that job. This is probably my, one of my favorite pieces of the end because if you have Every to go out of the house, one of these. Yeah, let, right? me, let me just open. This is a tactical flashlight. I mean, these things are oh, absolutely amazing. I love amazing. these things. I, They're I, high class. This, this oh, is absolutely. good stuff. But our food is what I'm really actually Ricky, happy that yes. we can cook yeah, inside of this. Can you imagine yes. if it's freezing cold? This popcorn is hot. It's hot. You look I like mean, you're warming up over there you're eating all my no, popcorn. But look at it. Look at it. This is how good okay. it looks. But the popcorn doesn't come with it. But he's using the no, popcorn an does not come with it. So but don't be, don't, if you don't I want the popcorn, popcorn back. We don't need the email. No, but I'm not, I'm imagining it because I'm really hungry right now. Right now, let's That I would be hungry yeah. in a storm, in a crisis, are, and I've got a, the yeah. microwave oven comes yes. with yes. it as a bonus gift. It's wonderful. I love a it. A Westinghouse oven. Mm -hmm. And so, but the biggest thing in all the world is not the rack that it comes on or the microwave or the or e I think the bag is pretty pretty high up there. Yeah, it's, the EMP it's bag. An EMP but bag. What I think is Generation still three. the best is it's fuelless. That's the whole deal. Right. That's why it's expensive. And the fact that it makes You've no got noise. Solar panels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't make noise, so you you don't have people trying to steal it. You you will pay for this. If you're use say you have a crisis for six months mm -hmm. and you have to have this power going, you charge it up every day. It just sits there. It can sit in your living room even and charge up with the sun coming in the window. Absolutely. Or if you have a deck, you set it out on your deck, and the sun is making your power. And what if what if we had a generator and we had to buy gas every day? Well, first off, as we can see from these events, first gas prices are going up exponentially. And what's the first thing that goes? Gas. gas. I mean, down the in stations Dallas lost. Down gas. in Dallas, Texas, I lived there for Ability. two years, and there were gas stations completely out of gas when Hurricane Harvey hit. And you have to remember, that's 400 miles away from Houston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This runs and runs.
runs and runs. It runs and by runs. solar power or and it runs, runs by hand you, crank or it runs by electricity. You pay your the cost of this thing back by no gas, no cost to run it. When you talk to the operators, you call 1-888-988-1588 or you can go to the website, jimbakershow.com. You can still write us at P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri, 65615. I would do this now. I know your intentions are good, but after you've seen, if you've watched any of the news reports, we watch them nonstop when it comes mm -hmm. to the weather and what's going on. And then we went down to Houston, and your gracious support of helping this ministry, we were able to go down there and ship food to them. And actually, we took a generator for the pastor for his house. Sure you did. And many we want to things. share the glory and the blessing of this thing yes. with everybody. But this is our best deluxe and the best deal. And literally... You're saving uh, $3,361. This is a $7,461 value. Mm -hmm. This is power for years and years and years and years to Absolutely. come. Yeah. You know what With I love? no more cost. Do it now. Order this unit now why they're available. Yes. They will be all right gone. Now. I guarantee you. Oh, after all. Because... And it takes us months to, to put them back on the assembly line mm -hmm. overseas. It does. And so if you want one, you better get. And by the way, when the orders come, then there'll be backlog, mm -hmm. and then it'll be months before you can get one. Mm -hmm. But they're in the factory warehouse right. now. Now, ready. So to order it right now yes. and be ready. Yes. Let's live and not die. Let's right. get ready for reaching out and the the harvest time is yes, coming it is harvest and it's time. time to just be positive and say come on we can do this yes we can we can survive yes and we'll make, call us at 1-888-988-1588 or go to our website there's good shopping there there is great shopping go to jimbakershow.com and they can write us at P.O. Still. They still can. <laughs> Snail mail. But we get it. P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri, 65615. Our time's gone for today. We're so glad you watched our show. And John Shorey, we appreciate him being with yeah, us today. And we hope that you'll be back for our next program. God has lined up some of the most amazing guests. They're going to teach you how to make it, how to survive, how to be what God wants you to be, and how to win this generation to Jesus Christ. Amen. God loves you. He really does. Bye-bye for today. Bye-bye. We love you. Thank you for watching today's broadcast of The Jim Baker Show. Please help us continue to share the gospel of Jesus on the airwaves. Call now, 1-888-988-1588. To order today's special offers. You can also write Jim at P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri 65615. Or you can order this offer and many others online at jimbakershow.com. Call now 1 888 988 1588 to order today's special offers. Thank you for your prayers and financial support. It's because of you we can continue to broadcast the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world.